Hello, good morning everybody. Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Guys, welcome here to my channel. So, I'm doing a daily tarot card reading for Monday, June 14th, and the deck I'm using is the Tarot of Dreams. So, if the lighting is off, I apologize. We have very, very uh, heavy skies today. It's overcast, which is welcome because we just had a, a complete heat wave. So, Anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, I'm doing this reading for all zodiac signs. So if you were guided here, there's probably a little bit of something in this reading for you. So anyway, you can hear me shuffling in the background. I know lots of people do like to see me shuffle the deck, but um, you know, I gotta go with what works for me. So hope you guys enjoy and that this resonates and thank you for all of your love in the comments, guys. Um, and all of that good stuff. So does everybody have their enormous cup of tea ready? <laughs> I love a nice hot cup of tea first thing in the morning. It's actually one of the first things I do is put the kettle on on my way to let Lacey out the door. So, all right. So I just saw angel number 111, which is an amazing sign to start this reading off. So I'm going to do a deck cut and we'll have a card for you guys. <sighs> So we have the two of coins here, and this is such a welcoming sort of energy. Um, a lot of the two of coins are two of pentacles. They show a, a character, a person sort of juggling the coins as they move through life. But there's an absolute stillness to this. And hold on for one second. So you can see this, you know, arms outstretched, calm assurance, you know, there's something that happens to us when we're trying to achieve something and it can be very overwhelming um, how we treat ourselves and we stop trusting in the universe. And this also kind of reminds me of a face coming out of the sky with those two eyes there. So you are being watched all the time. You're all being like, not in a creepy way, but, you know, protected and loved. And the universe knows when you're ready. So if you're not quite ready the time is just going to extend a little bit. Uh, so, <sighs> the welcoming part of it, are you grateful for it? Like, what's your gratitude practice like? You might wanna amp that up a little bit. So, this is going to be a good day to receive and I'm actually just gonna write that down, hold on. Okay, so I wrote that down and uh, I put this card down. It's, it's really sort of sucking me in with its energy, but in a good way. It feels very um, like a warm hug kind of. So I'm just going to clarify this card out right away before we carry on. Uh, so there is something coming in for you guys today. So this could be a Monday of abundance for you. Um, I did pull the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is going to be something that is going to bring you an immense... <laughs> accent <laughs> an immense and deep overwhelming joy there's probably going to be so much of it that you're going to have to get somebody to help you carry it it's such a big offer it's such a big emotion so i love to see this you know not all days are good days uh tarot really depicts that i don't sugarcoat the readings but when the news is really good too i'll share that with you and that's what i'm seeing here just a warm, soft, loving, but massive offering to you. Anytime you see an ace in the cards, this is something from the universe, okay? And it's coming to you. And I love how in the, in the ace of cups, there's more than one person carrying it because it is nice to have people share your journey no matter how high and bright or low and dark it might be. So uh, amazing cards to start off with. Okay, so let me just pull another card here. Um, okay, so you've got the seven of coins. I hope all of you watched your Sunday reading that I do for you guys because I focus on intentional wealth and abundance. So here we have the seven of coins and this is everything growing and fruitful and you've got your basket there and you're ready to pick your abundance. So whatever intention you might have set, set either by watching the Sunday manifestation videos or maybe you're picking up on the wealth and abundance mantras that I post on Saturdays, this is putting you in a really good frame of mind and it's also a very calm energy here. 
you know, and I love that there's a companion animal. Again, there is someone to share that. And maybe it's not a human. Maybe it's like something with four feet or scales or a beak or something like that. You know, uh, I know a lot of people, myself included, uh, where you share your home, not with humans, but with like, I have a dog, you know, I want to give her the best of everything, you know, just because she's unconditional love and she stood beside me in my journey when it's been very very difficult and shared the highs as well so you are having something or you know to come in for you but also it looks like there's going to be someone to share it with you know so that's beautiful too you know i'm gonna stop saying you know i, I doubt if i can <laughs> so i pulled the ace of wands here something really significant about this shape of the triangle in the card so you're being offered some massive gifts massive gifts on monday the gift of joy and the gift of i got the word enlightenment but i also got something else and sometimes my spirit guides they don't really translate into english and the words are a little bit weird so I'm getting the word illusory, but I-L-L -L something else, not like elusive or anything like that, but something that is really going to open up your eyes in some way. So the Ace of Wands, there's, what is going on with this triangle? And then there's, what do you call that? A volcano in the background. Who, do you guys out there, uh, associate or resonate anything with the shape of a triangle does it mean something to you anybody have a t-shirt with triangles on it or you guys could have some sort of symbolism of triangles somewhere i'm actually seeing somebody with a shower curtain if you guys can let me know in the comments if that's you there's something about that triangle that is going to, it could have been sort of like your favorite shirt or your good luck charm or something really resonated with you about this triangle. So you brought it into your home. Very strange. I think for some of you, I'm seeing it as like um, an incense holder, possibly. I'm going to clarify out this card because, you know, symbolism is very important in your life. Um where you can attach some sort of a meaning to a shape or uh, a figure or something like that. Like, I mean, hello. <laughs> I'm all about that, right? Oh, sorry. I've got a air conditioner here, guys. So it's going to kick in every now and again. So I hope it's not too loud. So I pulled the Palace of Coins. So there is something that is going to illuminate you guys on your way to living in this Palace of Coins, okay? And this could all happen today. It could all just, you could wake up and really in the morning, guys, try to make your first word thank you instead of like an F-bomb or something like that. Like, ugh, you know, here we go again, Groundhog Day. Try to make it thank you. I mean, it's not always possible, but there is something that is going to shine a light on your path to the Palace of Coins. So the Palace of Coins, the Palace cards are only in the Terror of Dreams deck, as far as I know. This is the end of the journey, you know, where you start off actually with this Two of Coins. Actually, it would start off with the Ace, but anyway, the Two, okay, welcoming it in, and then you're ending up here. So you could literally start off the day with nothing and end up with everything. I see for some of you, you could actually be receiving a marriage proposal today. This is going to be a very bountiful day for you guys. Um, but it doesn't look like it's a roller coaster. It looks like... It just looks like a very even and... An acknowledgement that this was divine and perfect timing everything falls into place and you're going to watch it happen and know that everything that you put forth into the universe is being returned to you and the palace of cups is your not only your destiny it's your destination and where you've had your eye on like this is basically the prize that you have put in front of yourself 
I'm going to pull one more card here. Beautiful. Ace of, or sorry, Ten of Cups. This is like that, that blissful happiness. The, the doors to the Palace of Coins have opened and Ten Cups stand upright, filled with your joy. And you can see here in the Ace of Cups, remember I was saying that there's going to be somebody by your side to help you share in the joy. There they all are. There's that little doggo that we saw here in the Seven of Coins. This is going to be a beautiful and magical day for you guys. Or maybe it, it could be a blessing that you observe for somebody else. I mean, especially if you have children and they, re they realize their bliss, you know? It's almost better when things happen for your children. You know what I mean? That type of satisfaction it's it's wonderful when things happen for us but if you have a child and all of a sudden things are going really well for them the feeling of living vicariously through them is very deep and very real so there's a high potential high super high very charged potential and it could almost feel like you're walking through a dream like you know it's all real but it feels so real so expect a beautiful day to unfold for you guys today all right i'm gonna wrap her up We'll see you around. <laughs> Bye.